When the sun suddenly stopped in the sky, calamity followed. Stone-armored dredge poured out of the north. A darkness bled across the land, and a world-devouring serpent carved chasms in search of something. The races of men and Val fled south in vast caravans, dealing with the dredge general Bellower and the treachery of Borsgard's governor, Rugga, to eventually arrive at the human capital of Arborang. Rugga's scheming and old rivalries with the king of Arborang poisoned their chances for safety. Can they restore the peace before the city turns on itself? Juno and Ivand, powerful spellweavers who claim they can turn back the darkness, continued on to the Valka libraries, where a terrible confrontation left Manahar in ruin. The spellweavers now have no choice but to push into the darkness itself, protected only by a spell of light and a reluctant crew of mercenaries. Will they be able to drive away the darkness before all of Arborang and humanity is swallowed up? And at what cost? One way or another, the saga comes to a close. We were as far from safety as we could have been. Me, Rook and Alet, in a small town of Skor. So much has changed since then. We traveled the length of the world to escape serpents and dredge. And still it was not enough. What I do now is madness. Somewhere in the darkness, I've been told, lurks an answer to all our desperate questions. I will make sure it sees the light of day. All I care about now is that the friends, no, the family I fought to deliver to Arborang, Live to see the sun move again. The true hero comes reluctantly. Hello, welcome back. Baron Saga. Yeah. Okay, it broke. Are we fine now? We have no food. A single white bird catches your eye, drifting overhead like a kai. How long has it been since you lost so bird? Rook. They are almost ready with the battering ram again. Get up. You're exhausted. You're, the gates of Arborang have been closed to you and many other refugees. And now you've joined up an uphill battle to change that, both literally and figuratively. What are you doing? Staring at the clouds? Thinking this through. Don't. There's a wall between us and Arborang. Simple. Ah, I know this wall. Oh, of all the choices I could have made, why side with Ruga? It's because you do the right thing, Ruk. You, can't, you just can't help yourself. And you couldn't let King Mainwolf abandon thousands of us he out here, with the dredge on the horizon and darkness closing. Let me make this easy for you. Once we get through that wall, we go all our, our separate ways. You won't see the governor of Borsgard again. Is that a promise, Ruga? Depends on whether you will succeed today. Your eyes descend to the battered outer wall of Arborang. Days both of broken bodies have sewn scarred ribbons into the mud. What's the plan? At my word, clansmen start fires up further down the wall. That should split their attention from the gates. Archers behind my shields as they run the battering ram forward. They'll be waiting to greet us with swords and axes. That's why you're here. Who knows, maybe they'll lay down their blades at the mere sight of the hero from Skolgar. 
and if the gates stand again even if we push our way in it won't stand not this time trust me just remind your horse folk whose side they're on will you for making the rest of us uneasy his grin is jagged as a hyena's and half as reassuring he barks and fighters begin to form up again I think I'm fine with this uh, layout, uh, although at least I'm borrowing of the first one, I would prefer at least. And I, I am tempted to use Arduino, but since we have no food, I would rather not. So I have a very bad thing about that. I'm, sus I'm suspecting something that will happen very soon. Okay. No, I can't turn off you. But you have some points as well. You have a lot of points. Um, yeah. Not so fast. Yeah. So every one of you have some things to open. Okay, but you're alive? Still has some points. Wait, hmm. what I I've done that. Okay. okay, I think yeah. we already yeah all of those. I forgot to check their items. <laughs> oh well. We'll manage. We will. We'll. They have work. One of us has to get through this gate. That bit. Okay. Stand back. Oh. For this food. Is the one that gets through armor that gets through armor. Am I supposed to just walk through? Okay. 
Once we get someone through the gate, we can put an end to this fight. Okay, yeah, I see. Now I see what put on is this. That guy. So we could transform from this. Hey, yeah, don't give up. A lull in the fight gives you a moment to take stock of what your allies are doing. As Arboran's defenders fall, Ruga exercises a mischievous ghost and smile. You brace yourself for whatever he's about to do. Brothers, our hearts have never been on killing Kingsman. Ruga shouts to him so everyone can hear him. If this is what it takes to unite us, so be it. He crosses his wrists above his head as he approaches Abraham's guards, their weapon rattling with mistrust. Oddleaf groans, her bow still drawn. Not treachery now. Lucas heads are bowed. His fighters draw back, unsure what has happened. Hours later, an answer finally arrives. The gates are now drawn open. To a great surprise, King Maynolf the decreased an end to this fighting. He welcomes all refugees into the city, shouts a man in Arboran's course. But as the captain of his guards, I warn you, do not test his generosity. So he's alive? Oh. A crush of people slowly pile through the gates, squeezing close together. The guard captain calls you over as you pass. He has Ruga close at hand. If it were up to me, I would have you in chains alongside Ruga. But our king has asked for you personally. He says you are to be treated as a guest. I have been ordered to escort you to a gathering at the Great Hall, along with the skirt. Ruga flashes the sword of green that makes him so punchable. Good to see you too, Petrus. A captain now? You've been busy. Petrus restrained himself, he considered the king's surprising orders. Not, why risk taking Ruga alive? Unfortunately, there are important things in the corners of his dark mind that need, need to see the light of day. First he will be chained to a soul wall, then I'll make him regret being born. Such fury over the poor king catching a fever. I can make you regret it now, Ruga, if you prefer. King Maynolf will speak to you both when we reach the Great Hall. And don't try anything, 
The king may be willing to trust you based on stories alone, but I am not. The fields between the outer and inner walls of Arborang are brimming with different people and clans. All stare at the masses and their a pair of curious children to me in awe. Can I ride the horse, people? gasped a young girl. His mother grabs him by the arm, blurting apologies. A man with a short banner of his own approaches. Excuse my wife and son. There isn't anyone in Arborang who hasn't heard of you. There's no clan. Of strong men and smart women, give us the honor of joining our banners to yours. Our belief gives you an uncertain sharp. Any allies are welcome in these times. The man claps on you on the shoulder, and many other clans promise to see their banners to yours as you travel toward the Great Fall. Barter tribes in the shadow of catastrophe, as people haggle their treasured family heirlooms for a handful of grain. Between robbery and theft, it's been a real problem, I will say, tells you. Even true Yeva patron the ruins of Abraham, every man for himself down here. You pass more than a few reminders of better times. Though gossip is traded freely, most items and supplies are out. 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 <laughs> Is very are very expensive. Still, you can afford to take a look. Okay. Here and there, a piece of someone's old life catches your eye. Oh, God. One of them gets to spice. I will as much as I can. Let's see. Pass through all talents. Oh. That would be great for old leaf. So this, 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 yes, and the rest goes for food. Oh, okay. Uh, there's no problem. Hmm. We don't have high enough levels for those I wait, I didn't check the others. <laughs> Dip it. Keep your eyes open. Some of those people were ready to kill us just hours ago. That's true. You get away with this, someone slurs nearby. He and his cronies are already drinking their way through the streets. I <coughs> we demand justice. He blinks in the face of a confused horse boy. I had more holy one here up at spear point. Canary and her companions thrust weapons and walls back at their accusers. I'm intimidated. Stay out of this, but just once. You've done enough already. His guards try to separate the angry huntsmen, but only managed to find the flames. Justice for Talier! turns into a child, spreading until it infects a great mass of people. The horse came with you, Davis. You protected murderers! Someone attacks, and others follow. I did nothing! 
I would forget that. <clears throat> Thank you very much. She's level nine, yeah. I like this. So maybe instead of Luke, we will send Mead. We will give her. Actually, we need to. Plus five break. What do you have? Let's free break. What do we have? Five. I think this is better. And can't let's free all more. Amazing bag. Yep. This is the best for you. Plus mm -hmm. free strength. Okay, um, I think we'll just leave it like this. Roku stayed out of this. The crowd looks right. Looks right up. Kill the rubber and Alexis in blue and the rest will flee. Thank you for your insight. I knew I can find him. So we'll stand like this. I think she should she should be safe here. She really is the armor worker. <laughs> they don't have any archers, so we should be safe. Necessary. Please, yay! Kind of the usually charismatic leader of a large hostel tribe wears a deep scowl. Why men attack? I shall not just shout. Everyone thinks your husband village told you. This is important, Canary. Is it true? City to east? Yes, kill many, many men, take many things. You need more? Oddly's mouth opens, but I know words. You admit it? You plundered totally and killed the people there? Many food, many weapons bring to you. You eat, you take. You stood with them and gave them things to us? Kanye looks from Oddly to you, puzzled, then back to Oddly. Her front hooves pound the dirt and she gestures in the air. 
You kill at walls, you kill on road, man, horseman, every... No, but... Damn. It's not the same thing. She doesn't get the difference. They must have done this before we even met them. How are we going to explain this way? This away? There's nothing to explain. We either defend them or we don't. Penry? We will protect you, but you must do exactly as I say from now on. She trusts nervously in place, then exhales through her nose and ferns. We'll listen, for now, but we are not pets. I have to hope it's all going to be worth the trouble or leave. Me too. In the crowds, you notice a new girl who had just now entered the gate. Heiko has gone off to meet them. Make sure you catch up. A familiar face glares in your direction as he speaks. Eventually, we crossed paths with Bulwark and his ravers at the old ford. You remember Bulwark? The berserker? Hard to forget. I thought I did some hard marches in our day, but not like this. Bulwark went his own way. Luckily we arrived when we did. I wasn't sure Ab Ab Arborank would still be here, or where you went. Have they treated you well since we parted, Hagen? They let us defend for ourselves as soon as we got here. It's good to have more in Arborank, Fasold. I'll put it that way. Fasold gives you a cold stare. Don't think I've forgotten any Einart of Thel, little one. Or forgiven. For what's his move, I'm glad you made it. And I'll be glad to watch you fall to the dredge in person, returning the favor. Where is your tamed one arm of all, anyway? Come to the north, into the darkness. Juno and Eowyn claim they can solve this. Is that so? Juno and Eowyn. Makes you wonder who started the trouble in the first place. Your fight is gone. Einartov is gone. You're gone. The dredge, on the other hand. Wolfric said he ran across Islas in Bingo, and Bellower's probably on his way here right now. We defeated Bellower at Postguard. I saw it myself. Bellower doesn't die. And what of the others like Walker or Sif? We don't know where they went. Is Ubin around here somewhere to write these things down, at least? Afraid not. He decided to go south. Horseman lands. Of course he did. And I guess we are the last Vral Hakon. Let us bring ruin to the dredge like the old days. For our bones. The hills. Hakon breaks into the white grain. Clasping forearms with puzzled. A strange gladness about them. Of our bones. The hills. The path crossing the field from the outer gate to the inner black rock is longer than it looks, but you walk through dense, smoky trees, escalating toward the rise in the black rock plateau. 
Gruga sh shuffles beside the guards who carry his chains. He has been unusually silent, but now he speaks softly in the ear. Carefully, Hunter, he says, even for he has chance. Looks like trouble ahead. It is trouble. A few yards ahead, you spy one of Petrus's guards face down, an arrow in his head. Petrus curses angrily and runs ahead just as armed men appear from the crowds, surrounding him and attack his guards. It would be a tragedy if something happened to him. Let's start to order to keep him. It's lucky that you do, as the girl holding Ruga's chain topples from an unseen axe. Before Ruga can slink away, you know, knock him off his feet, just as assassins approach from the flank. <coughs> now we can take Ruga first. Oh. Oh. No, I still have a bad... No, not Eric. Ruga. Not Just... I still don't trust that we will have enough food if we keep on spending on our Quickly, don't let Rugas see that he is way out of this world. Okay. Okay, over here you look like you do some help here Yes. 
Oh, this one. I keep doing and staking those guys. If that was his intention. Petrus realized his men with tremendous skill. He quickly repelled the ambush with his help. Wiping his blade clean of blood, Petrus has then leans to Ruga, uh, Ruga hard with fists and feet, until the man is curled in a quivering ball on the ground. The thrashing ends with when Petrus is satisfied, and the fighter who joined him in battle faces him back. Bastards! Utter bastards! It's been a miserable hard world, and I wasn't willing to watch good men. Go down like that. I'm good wound good wounded. Last of us here from window. I was captain there myself. He glances at his banner, crumpled and bloody, and the end of the sewers. Though I'll admit we could be doing a lot better, you take a hint. Fight like you did there and you will have to join us. I swear it. Good wound replies. He gathers his stuttered banner and sends forward on his figure. Petrus and Gondolin a chat as you continue to pray for kindred spirits. Always take the chance to be through that. Hey, the guy. Looks like an awful lot of stairs. I know that why we may not feel safe watching from above. You finally approach the Blackstone walls deep at the center of Arboran. Petrus instructs you to head up the stairs while he holds Ruga away. Only half when she learns she can join you. I guess only the important people are invited, she says. I will try to find a place for the rest of us. Where do you think is best? It's your call, Odlif. I trust your judgment. I'll do what I can, but up on top of the hill is where we ought to be. Odlif looks at the great hall. Maybe if you had the king's ear, she, su she suggests. 
Yay! And this is the place when we're gonna end this part. No. The Black Fork Plateau casts long indigo shadow over you like a storm cloud. As you climb the steps, the view shifts from verdant green hills into morbid panorama of carnage and darkness. Eventually you come to stand beside rich and powerful men with long names and manners, called before King Maynolf as you were. Hakon is here, as well as Canary, both given a white birth. From where you stand at the back of his enormous hall, King Maynolf looks small and withered upon a, on the throne. He speaks slowly, as if stepping carefully through cobwebs of old memories. You can only hear bits and pieces about changes of heart and protecting the weak. Eventually, you give up trying to make out the words. So long in the hall, goes silent. Everyone has turned to start at you, the hearing beckons and you approach. With this, the king sends the crowds away and takes you aside privately. You are to be thanked the person for bringing myself home to me. Now I'm afraid I must still to beg a favor of you. The road between Bosgard and Arborang is long, especially shared with a man like Ruga. Tell me, how did you fare in his company? We did not agree much. No, Ruga made things difficult, but we had an understanding. Good. If you don't understand a man, you don't understand his actions. And you end up surprised when he puts a dagger on your back. Maynard slowly pats his own shoulder with a weak smile. I suspect you already knew this, but the man has poisoned you. He did it when we met in good faith to negotiate peace. My mentors have been unable to find a cure. We're gonna have something of a long and miserable history. You would gladly watch me rear on the throne. But perhaps you can coax an antidote from him. Convince him on my behalf. Naturally, the best hope for this. You're not my only, but if I know you got this is all part of a game and I'll lose every option I have. Succeed and you know my generosity. The king calls for Petrus and you soon hear his heart was echoing off the high ceiling. My king. Captain Petrus, our friend Rook has agreed to speak with Ruga. And Petrus, follow our guest's orders. We allow his to command as he needs. See that this gets resolved as soon as possible. Yes. <laughs> and this is where we end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.